So you probably realized I like to do work looks on Mondays. To me, this is a really great kind of sexy, sophisticated look. The idea of wearing your over the knee boots with a below the knee pencil skirt is really fun because we're not showing any skin, any thigh, but it's still very, very sexy. I grabbed a simple structured bag and a bright colored skirt just for like a little bit of pop of color. Now this is a draped front collar jacket and what I did is sort of throw it over my shoulders so it became like a little capelet. By knotting it off and tying it in the front, it kept it all in place and almost transformed the entire jacket. But otherwise, this is really chic and sophisticated and very sexy. Christmas in my heart And I can promise Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times if you watched my leather jacket episode, then you'll probably remember me talking about the classic combo of a sweater dress and over the knee boots. What I think are really cool about this one though, is that it's completely transformed by putting on a structured, more conservative jacket instead of the leather jacket I featured there. I also added on these fish fishnet tights, but what's fun about these is that they're actually nylons with like a fishnet embroidered pattern on them. So they're warm, which is perfect for the winter months. Because this collar is so like cool and oversized and drapey, I didn't want my hair to like compete. So I threw it up in a really tight high pony and called it a day. I really love this look. All right, you're going to notice that the scarf changes a couple of times here because I just could not decide between this really great simple black scarf and that plaid one. Either way, though, the look works. What inspired this look was the idea of wearing over the knee boots over jeans. Again, you don't need to show a lot of leg. This doesn't need to be something sexy. So I thought I would wear it over jeans. And if you do that, just make sure that those jeans are skinny jeans. Otherwise, all that fabric is going to bunch up in the bottom. I wore a men's inspired double breasted jacket, which had just some really great structure over a crisp white button down. And again, you can see regardless of the scarf, both looks work really well because I'm working in neutrals. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had up. Ugh, five way fail is right. I don't know what happened here, you guys. Some looks just don't work. The whole reason I wanted to create this look was because I wanted to show that you could take over the knee boots and scrunch them down into slouchy boots because I think that that's like, it's so versatile. I don't know why they're untied. I don't like, I really, I don't know what happened here. Um, I still think that the idea of wearing your boots like that is fun. I just, the execution of this, the colorful tights, the graphic tee, the whole thing feels really like childish or juvenile to me. So I'm not a fan of the look, but I am still really a fan of scrunching down your boots because I think that that's a great solution all right last but not least we have date night I'm wearing a slip, like a real lingerie slip, and something about that feels really sexy and like you have a little secret or something. <laughs> this is also a cardigan that I normally wear unbuttoned over jeans and a t-shirt, but I buttoned it up and put it over the slip dress, and that extra couple of inches that the slip dress gave me turned it almost into this really cool like dress with a black border on the bottom. I would wear the coat, obviously, as you're traveling and maybe if you're in a place where it feels not quite appropriate to wear something this sexy, but to me this is really fun and really relaxed hoop earrings a little bag and you're done feeling that you're next to me stuck in my head when lights go off you're everything